On the first leg of a mercy mission. We got the fire warning light flickering on number one engine. Captain and new father AJ DeCoast is racing against a possible fire in the engine of the C-46. Well, I'm just having a look here and I don't see a fire yet. But I'm having uh, just a double check, make sure we don't have anything. I'll confirm it, eh? With no visual sign of flames or smoke, AJ is betting on a false alarm. Possibly an electrical short in the engine. If it was a very light load, then we may have just shut it down right away and taken zero chance that it was a false indication or, or a real indication. With the C-46 fully loaded with Christmas care packages, AJ would rather not risk landing on just one engine. But if there is a fire, things can go bad fast. It's only a matter of time. I mean, metal, magnesium, everything burns. Once you get the oil tank burning or hydraulics, you may lose the ability to control the airplane. I'll just be watching out for any developments there. AJ performs like a machine in that kind of situation. He knows the drills. He doesn't even really think about what he's doing. You want the lights or you just call for it? I'll call for it. Understood. He just played it cool, and I played it cool with him, and you know, put your fears aside and deal with the situation ahead. AJ and Scott guide the 46 into their low approach to the Del and A strip. They've got to put it down right on the button. I was relieved step one, I guess, was when we landed the airplane and it was on the ramp, we were shut down. I thought that we did quite well. No fire in the engine, a false alarm, just as AJ suspected. Engineer Adam Smith gets to work looking for the source. See that? It doesn't take long to find. This uh, piece of lock wire right here was grounding from the top of the fire probe all the way over to the firewall, causing our light to go on and our bell to go off and make all kinds of noise, right. make us think we had a fire. All it was was a little piece of lock wire. Good news.